Stone Mountain police tell us eight different agencies partnered together to help maintain peace during today's protests. CBS 46's Brittany Edney is continuing our team coverage tonight. She is live in downtown Stone Mountain with the very latest. Brittany. Well, good evening to you. For the most part of today, these protests remained fairly peaceful between a far right group and also counter protesters. But at one point, some fights broke out and that's when police moved in. Standing shield to shield, law enforcement in full riot gear mobilized in downtown Stone Mountain. Practicing the First Amendment and Second Amendment. Both far right groups and a range of counter protesters crowded along a closed street. Save the money! Save the flags! Save the heritage! Stone Mountain Park was closed in an attempt to avoid conflict ahead of protests. They are the mobs! But couldn't prevent some clashes. We didn't come down here to apologize. Got it? We ain't apologizing to you. Our CBS 46 cameras also found moments of resolve. But we should be as one. We should be as one. I hope so. A debate over monuments that law enforcement may have ended for the day, but is nowhere near over. The Stone Mountain Police Department says that today there were no arrests, no one was hurt, and also there was no destruction to anyone's property. Reporting live in Stone Mountain, I'm Brittany Yedney, CBS 46 News.